Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. Today we are going to discuss about one of the very important parameter when it comes to a system suitability for chromatography testing procedure. And that parameter is nothing but trailing factor, symmetry factor and asymmetry factor. So we will try to understand whether these three different terms are one and the same or are they different from one another and at the end we will also try to understand what is a suitable acceptance criteria for these different terms so let us begin with the definition for symmetry factor given in usp general chapter 621 that is chromatography now this general chapter has given the details on how one can calculate the symmetry factor. Now you can see on the screen that the symmetry factor is calculated by using the calculation formula given on the screen. That is AS is equal to W 0 0.05 divided by 2D. So what is W 0 0.05 and 2D? So W 0 0.05, I am sorry for the, the, the typographical error there, but that is W 0 0.05 and not just the W. That indicates the width of the peak at 128th of the peak height. You can think about the width of the peak at the 5% height from the base and which is denoted by W 0 0.05 you can see on the screen over here. So this is the complete width of the peak at the 5% height. D stand for the distance between the perpendicular drop from the peak maximum and the leading edge of the peak at 128th of the peak height. You can think about the, the front width at 5% height. So this is united by this particular region. And so the symmetry factor is calculated by now using this calculation formula. Now when you look into the, the details again further given in the 621 the general chapter 621 you will find that the symmetry factor is also known as a symmetry factor and a tailing factor so what that mean this means that the usp does not differentiate between symmetry factor a symmetry factor and the tailing factor so whatever you call whether you call tailing factor or a symmetry factor or symmetry factor according to usp it is one and the same and the calculation formula is on to your screen let us now try to understand what is the details given under uh, pharma europa general chapter 2.246 which is chromatographic separation techniques edition 10.0 so this is the calculation formula mentioned into the phur and uh, you will find that it is almost similar to the USP calculation formula. There is no difference between the calculation of symmetry factor according to USP and EP. But there is a one small difference I noticed. As we talked about, in case of USP, all these three terms, tailing factor, symmetry factor, and asymmetry factor stands one. There is no difference between these two, three terms. They are one and the same. But uh, as per my information and knowledge, there is no mention of the asymmetry factor or tailing factor in Pharma Europa. Now to be on safer side, as there is no clarity given into the Pharma Europa, you always mention the symmetry factor in all your testing procedures. So rather than mentioning tailing factor or asymmetry factor for a product to be filed in European countries, you can go with the symmetry factor as a system suitability parameter let us now try to understand uh, the details mentioned into these two different uh, pharmacopias so you have to refer the general chapter 2.2.46 which is uh, chromatographic separation techniques from ap to understand the symmetry factor calculation if you are from uh, if you want to submit a product for uh, US market, then you can refer the chromatography general chapter 621 from USP. 
as we as we discussed in the few slides uh, before that the pharma europa does not mention the different terms like tailing factor and sim asymmetry factor the pharma europa only talks about symmetry factor however the usp has mentioned that the symmetry factor of a pig is also known as asymmetry factor or tailing factor and that's the basis of saying that all these three terms according to usp is one and the same according to phur when symmetry factor is greater than 1 the pig is having a tailing and when the symmetry factor is less than 1 then the pig is having a fronting and you can find the similar kind of mentioning mention into the usp general chapter 621 also now let us try to understand what is the acceptance criteria for the symmetry factor is there any guidance given into these two different pharmacopias so yes there is a guidance provided by pharma europa and i'm talking about the phur edition edition 11.0 which is going to be applicable from 1st jan 2023 unless otherwise stated now this is the acceptance criteria for symmetry factor unless otherwise stated in a test or assay the symmetry factor and again there is a tailing factor in bracket of the pick used for quantitation is 0.8 to 1.8 so this is one important point but again with this particular term you know does phr mean the symmetry factor and tailing factor one and the same if not a symmetry factor but at least we can understand that the symmetry factor and tailing factor can be considered as a one and the same term now when we talk about the usp again uh, usp nf2 2023 uh, which is going to be applicable and i mean which is uh, uh, is already been uh, implemented the pig symmetry and this is the acceptance criteria unless otherwise stated in a test or assay the symmetry factor or tailing factor of the pig used for quantification is 0.8 to 1.8 that indicates that 0.8 to 1.8 can be a symmetry factor acceptance criteria for your in house testing procedure but however there uh, there are certain situations there are certain monographs where you will find the system suitability factor different or other than this 0.8 to 1.8 just to give an example from the pharma europa edition 10 look at the system suitability factor for beta acetyl digoxin it is 2.5 which is much more than 1.8 and same you can think about the another product like cipaclor where the system suitability factor requirement is maximum 1.2 so there could be different in the system suitability factor for some specific reasons but to be on safer side it is always you know have the system suitability factor between 0.8 to 1.8 so please let me know your thought on this particular topic on the comment below thank you so much